Welcome back to Cooking with Vikings. Cooking with Vikings. That should be a new sequel. <laughs> That's a beast. Welcome back to Living with Vikings, and today we're going to be cooking some bread. <laughs> we're not on fire, just so we can. Let's just address the steam yeah. and cooking food while we film the video. <laughs> For this recipe, you need. An axe. No, you don't need an axe. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what you got me to you wants to... You need 500 grams of strong flour. We've gone for wholemeal spelt flour. Wow, say that when you're drunk. Wholemeal spelt flour. Flour. Wholemeal spelt flour. So we haven't actually got any scales, but you need 500 grams. So I'm going to guess it's <laughs> half, because this is a kilogram. So you also need two table... Say that when you're drunk. <laughs> Two tablespoons of salt, which we're using Himalayan salt. Seven grams of yeast. Yeast, please. <laughs> you also need... An axe. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Don't be turning the pans down, you can't see us for all the steam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand here. In the mist, dark figures move and twist. Anyway, so yeah. Um, you also need some olive oil. It is three tablespoons. Thank you, Brian and I. I was going to say we Spanish have olive oil. Yes, we well, have some really amazing. It's all right. I'm just majestic. Um, yeah. So this is all the way from Spain, and I'm just going to pop my head around here. I'm pretty sure that Matt's going to get in the way. Matt, you f <laughs> you spat at me. I hope this isn't a poisonous kind. Well, anyway, so this is all the way from. This is all the way from. <laughs> this is too much steam. <laughs> this is a bad idea to try and film this while we're cooking. It's from Spain. <laughs> Don't you start! That's it! So, we fixed the problem. Change positions. I've sorted my chicken. We can now make bread. Rolling all the steam. Anyway, so, the last ingredient was actually water. Warm water. Let me go and warm the water. So the first step is you need to get the flour, salt and yeast, put them all in a bowl and mix them together. That's about half, so I'm gonna... Do you want to have a look, have a look, have a look at this? So we've got our flour into the bowl. Is it nice? It feels just lovely and soft. Let's just guess. Totally. Yeah, Probably let's two. just guess. That's one, I'm gonna guess. Two. Three. Two. No, that was just two. That was just two. That looks really weird. Yeah. It's mass produced. Now, the point of our videos, you're probably wondering why we're using this. Mass produced things we're trying to get away from. We're buying more organic. We're buying more natural stuff. Uh, our fruit and veg is plastic free. I just mix it with the hands. Yeah. Um, the yeast for now, we, we did have to buy that. But eventually, we're going to try and make our own yeast. Now, that's coming in a new video very shortly. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe and you'll be able to watch us make our own yeast. So you put a hole in the centre. Or professionally, they say, well. Well. So now we add in three tablespoons of olive oil and 300 millilitres of water. <laughs> three then? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm not going to add the whole thing in yet. Because 
through my experience of making bread, you can add water in, but you can't take it out. So I would say add half of that, mix it and see what the dough is like, because you can always add more in. You can use a spoon, but it's probably easier just to use your hands. Catch yourself. Yeah. So now you want to knead the dough for approximately 10 minutes. It's ready to be chopped yet. It's not going to be chopped. No. Now, we've rinsed our bowl so it's nice and clean and we're going to get some olive oil and we're going to coat the bowl in olive oil, put the dough into the bowl, cover that with oil as well and then put cling film over the top and let it prove. You'll actually find as well that a wooden bowl works better than a ceramic bowl because wood holds the warmth. Obviously the warmth is what you need to actually get the bread to rise. So using the wooden bowl, you'll find it rising a lot faster. I just need to pop the dough in there. Give it a nice little whack, because <laughs> why not? And then lightly coat it in some olive oil. We are going to use a damp cloth, but it's a warm damp cloth to help it prove a bit better. Got our muslin. And we're just going to simply place it over the top and wrap it around the bottom. Okay, so we've done that now. That's all finished. Now, you can prove it for different times. Obviously, it's going to take different times depending on the heat of your kitchen or wherever you're cooking. It might be outside. You never know. So you go. When you join us, hopefully this will have risen. It'll be an hour's time. And we'll see you in a sec. Yes. And voila! Whoa! That's beautiful, look at that. Wow, <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> I would say that's actually tripled in size. Yeah. So what we do with this now is we actually have to knock it back. So we... Now I suppose you could do it in the bowl and then just transfer it straight to the tray. I'm going to do it on the bench. Oh, with plenty of flour. Purely because we need to reshape it for the tin anyway. And yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> that looks beautiful. So knocking it wow, it's actually warm. Is it? Yeah. The bottom. Oh wow, it actually really is warm there, yeah. yeah. So you knock it back to make sure there's no air bubbles in. Wow, it's so light and fluffy. This gonna be gorgeous for this. Yeah. I would say that's quite enough. So we're gonna shape it like this, just into now, serious a question. Nice square shape. Well, rectangle, I suppose. Are we putting anything on the top of it? Yes. <laughs> we need three. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you stepped on the top. Sorry. So there we go. It's in the muslin now, and we're going to put it back in the same place. And then, once it's proved for a second time, we'll pop it in the oven. It's proof a lot. Um, because the oven had been on, it was really hot. So we actually opened the door and put it here, and voila! That's going to stay there for another 5 10 minutes while the oven heats up properly. You're right there. <laughs> so, this is our first bit of bread that we're making on this channel. Um, this is just normal bread, basically, just house bread, let's call it. Uh, we are bringing soon Viking bread, which we will love. Why are you eating Is he yawning? <laughs> We're going to bring some Viking bread to you very soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and uh, definitely don't miss our next bread that's going to be cooking soon. Right, okay. So the next step, what we're going to do now, is we're going to pour our lovely bread into the oven. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bread, babe. Looks real good, doesn't it? It's proven to be. It's still a bit of a gap down this side. Proving to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Say bye. How long for? 
Uh, about 30 minutes should do it. Do you think I can stop with dot on 30? Oh, no. That's my <laughs> So 18.10, which is actually going to be 20.10, because that clock's two hours behind. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's just been half an hour. The buzz has gone off. Now it's time to check the spread out. Well, it looks beautiful. It's a tad hot. <laughs> That's why I got you to do it. <laughs> Tap on the bottom just to make sure if it's hollow. Be listen for that. That's hollow done. sound. This bread is done. So before we cut into it, we're gonna leave it on our big chopping board here for half an hour, another half an hour. We'll reset the oven for another 30 minutes and we'll come back out and we'll chop into our bread. Oh you know what? it actually feels really heavy. Does it? Have you felt the weight of it? It's still warm as well. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh... No. No. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you're actually doing it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you not want that oh, bit like? Get in there. How small that? Oh, but you're not strong that, baby. Mm. Oh, it's still warm as well. Oh. Don't you want any butter on it? Mm. Nice. Mm. My turn. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's nice. That's really nice, it's so soft. Let me just do that. Mmm, look at that. 